Hi, I'm Phil Befford and welcome to the Rebel Networker. On this week's show, we're going to be talking about reciprocity, which is the way that you can generate more referrals without having to spend money. And in Ask Dr. Phil, we're going to be answering a question on how you can actually start to promote people that you care about and get them more business. A lot of people say to me, Phil, one of the challenges I get is if I'm looking to get referrals from people, they're expecting commission. Now, while that can be one way of doing business, it's not necessarily the best. There are other ways that we can motivate people to want to work with us that are often much more productive and longer lasting for relationships. When we talk about reciprocity, just imagine for one minute that a very good friend of yours has invited you to their house for a meal. So you go around, and, and assuming of course it's a nice meal, we have a lovely meal. You, at the end of that meal, you walk away, and what are you thinking? Well, there's every chance you're thinking, now I need to invite them to my house. But what if they invite you again, and you still haven't invited them? What do you start to think? Deep down inside us as human beings, we're starting to think, I need to do something for this person. So what if that was business? What if somebody was giving you business on a regular, consistent basis? You would start to think, what do I need to do for this person? As fundamental human beings, we need to make that equilibrium. That is give us gain or reciprocity. But it doesn't have to be just business we're handing back. There are other things we can do for each other. We actually recognise 16 relationship builders in the Referral Institute, uh, and a couple of those are here, so I'm going to give you some tips now on what else you could be doing to compel people to want to help you. Well, number one is to volunteer your time. There might be something they need help with. It could be moving a house, it could be mowing a lawn if they're ill, it could be cooking them a meal if they're ill. Anything that you do where you volunteer your time generates goodwill. Secondly, we could be giving them referrals. We mentioned this previously, and this is often a very good way to build business relationships with the right people. Thirdly, sending articles of interest. Information can be king in business. And if we can send the right piece of information to one of our referral sources or people in our network, that could be key to them. This helps them generate goodwill on our, on our behalf. It can be done from a newspaper, or these days, it can even do, be done by sharing articles on social media. On this week's Ask Dr. Phil, I've had a message from Christina in Germany, who's in marketing. And she says, Phil, what's a very quick way that I can help people that I care about to generate more word of mouth when I'm busy? Well, Christina, one good way would actually be to carry their, their roll-up banners or some of their marketing material when you're going to events. If you're presenting, or even if you're just going to networking, perhaps you could take their material and also distribute that for them. So that's this week's show. And remember, you can send your questions in to phil at the referralinstitute-me.com. And if your question's answered on Ask Dr. Phil, then you'll get a free Platinum Rule assessment that will help you look at your behavioural style and maximise your time while networking.